Hey, Aries, Everlong Mystic here. So we're going to get you an, uh, an in-between message. We're going to get you, we're going to look at two energies that are around you right now. And we're going to look in between the energies. We're going to see what's going on, why, why they're here, what, uh, what you're meant to find with those energies and what you're supposed to do with what you find. All right. And we're going to use the archetype deck here to get the two energies. All right, Aries. So we have the sword as one energy, and we have Gnosis. Ooh. We have Gnosis as the other. What? I kind of want to read both. I don't know. Well, let's just read LXII. Okay, the sword. The knife, the blade, the weapon. To use the sword is to decide. The blade separates one reality from another. The choice is made and all else falls away. If you find the sword in your grasp, you can no longer hesitate. This weapon requires a clear and decisive mind and a willingness to act. Okay, so you have a decision to make here. So let's, let's just look at Gnosis real quick. LXXV. So that's innermost knowings and mystic truths. True knowledge is not found in facts and figures and scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that rises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Once you experience it, you're forever changed and become a guardian of Gnosis. The eternal mystery is calling you. Steady your passion in the deepest way available to you. Huh. All right. I almost wonder if there's two, two areas of study here that you are flipping between and you're meant to go full force forward with one of them because obviously you're meant to pursue something most likely on the esoteric side and it's like you're having trouble deciding so let's get let's get the tarot Alright, so this is why the sword is here. This is why the Gnosis is here. This is what you find in this energy. This is what you find in this energy. And then we will use Mini Wild Unknown for, like, what do you do with it? What do you do with it? the sword here okay
So, I have a question for you, Aries. Is this... Is this you wanting to be celebrated? Or is this being celebrated for the wrong reasons? Because no matter what, there's celebration happening. But how valid is the celebration? Are you, are you like participating in this or is it just happening around you? Because whatever the situation around this celebration is, whatever the details are around it, it seems as if that's why, that's why the sword is showing up. You are meant to make a decision. Is it this, this or that? And what you're meant to find, oh, is your inspiration. No way. Inspiration because you're supposed to follow your passion, right? Huh. So why is Gnosis here then? It is unknown at this time. No, it's the moon. <laughs> because it's mysterious and it's alluring, that's why. <laughs> And there are questions that have not been answered, Aries, and you want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, so what are you supposed to find? Wow. Wow, you're supposed to find wisdom about the things that hold you back. I just, I'm just saying this Eight of Wands is just being kind of pinned down, you know? It's funny because this person looks like they're being pinned down by a bunch of wands, but yet they still have a smile on their face, which to me seems very Aries. They're like, ah, I can take it. I can, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, so what are we supposed to, so what are we supposed to do with this? I mean, this passion, what are we supposed to do with it? Obviously, we're supposed to be following it, but... We gotta turn over the cards. Oh, there we go. Passion lit. You've lit a fire. You have seven seven. That's cool. Seven seven. That's a very that's a very divine number. Okay. You are being called to the divine Aries, and it's super cool. Look at this. How you've got. <clears throat> You've got night and you've got day here. Same, same, night and day. It's like it's the difference between night and day. And it's a big difference. And I'm saying that because when it's, when the card is one way, you've got six cups that are all up and ready to be filled. But then, like, you flip it over, <clears throat> six cups are, are down, and you only one can be filled. But then again, kind of makes you think that maybe there's only one correct cup for you. And that would be you making a decision. So I'm going to turn it upside down. Because you're following, you're following your passion. You're following, like, it's the gnosis, right? It's like this explosion of knowledge. Wow, just like another, that's like, that's a lightning strike. That's like another explosion in the world. So this is what you're supposed to do with this. So it's like you go on this, I want to say you go on a wisdom quest following your passion and whatever whatever's been holding you back whatever it's like you get through it you move you move through it and it's funny because you have eight of wands and eight of wands but they're different energies this eight of wands is kind of like stuff that's holding you back this is a lightning strike this is this is powerful this is like hitting the nail on the head right here and boom, it's like this world, it just seems like this just expansion. But then again, it could be just going towards the Gnosis. I mean, this could be the wheel of Gnosis right here, you know? But whatever it is, Aries, 
when you get there, when you see it, when you know it, when you experience it, you're never, ever, ever going to be able to not have that experience. Like, it'll be logged in, it'll be logged into you forever, right? It's like, once you know, you know. Very cool. All right, so, Aries. We're going to roll the dice. So we're going to roll, <clears throat> and we're going to see if the reading is over, if you get an extra oracle card, or if you get a whole new bonus reading. <gasps> Reading's over! All right, Aries. That's all she wrote. Okay, I will see you later. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, Aries.